Okay, now let's see how we would journalize the issuance of a bond. We're going to start with the most simple one, which is when we issue bonds at face value. And of course, this would mean that our contract rate, that is the rate that is written on the bond, is the exact same rate that we can get out there in the market. So that means our contract rate equals our market rate. That means that we're going to issue it at the face value. That means at 100%. All right, here's how we can word this. On January 1, Cole Corporation issues a 1,006% five-year bond that pays semi-annual interest. Semi-annual interest just means that we're going to pay interest every six months. Journalize the entries to record the issuance of the bond, the first interest payment, and C, the payment of the bond at the maturity date. That means five years out. All right, so here we go. Let's issue this bond. So a company issues a bond because they want money. So they get cash. So cash goes up. And because it was issued at the face value, that means that they got the $1,000. And we're going to set up a bonds payable, which is a liability account, saying that we promise to pay this back in five years. So that is our initial entry. Cash goes up, bonds payable goes up. All right, then on our first semi-annual interest payment, which would come six months later, on June the 30th, we are going to pay our first interest. We always pay it on the face value of the bond, which in this case, there's no question. So it's going to be 1000 That's the face value. And then our rate is 6%. And then the time that I've written right here means that we're going to be paying a half a year. So I'm going to write that as 6 twelfths. And that's going to come out as one half because that's the same thing but I always put it in the um, months because that way when you do have to pay it on say for example two months out of the year you would do two twelfths three months out of the year would be three twelfths but whenever you're paying semi-annual you're always going to write six twelfths all right so when I multiply 1000 times six percent times six divided by twelve I'm going to find out that every six months I'll be paying these people $30. All right, so it's going to be interest expense, and I'm going to pay these people their $30. That's why they agreed to lend me money, because they were expecting these interest payments every six months. All right, at the end of the term, that is in five years, when I go to repay this, this will be January 1, five years later, I'm going to Get rid of my bonds payable, so I'm going to reduce my liability for $1,000, and I'm going to pay them back their cash. All right, so if you will think about it like this each time, when we add the one more element in the next video of our premium and discount, it'll just be one more part that you'll need to account for, and then you'll have bonds. So just always think back to this simplistic one of, hey, this is how we would do it if we issued it at face value. It's borrow the money, pay the interest, repay the bond. Let me know if you have any questions.